Welcome to another video everybody. My name is Angelo. Welcome to the Comic Den. We got a pretty awesome video planned for you guys today. So we are on our way right now to a storage facility. Sarah found an awesome collection that a older gentleman has. We're going to go look at it right now and I also got something pretty interesting. He just called me asking me if I have any Golden Age stuff because he has a bunch of Bronze Age and Silver Age and um, Copper Age stuff we're going to look at today. But he is interested in some Golden Age comics that I do have so I'm bringing him a book right now that we might actually be able to trade him for or sell him to get a little bit off on the stuff we're interested in I'm super excited to bring you guys along with me don't forget to hit the like and leave a comment down below I'm gonna show you guys quickly what I'm bringing him I don't have too much older stuff but I'll give you guys a look real quick so I gotta leave like right now but this is some of my older stuff all of my 10 cent comic books some of it is some horror stuff so I figured I would bring him some of these books, see if he's interested in any of them. Like I said, they're not all um, Golden Age or anything, but there are a lot of 60s era books in here, some Silver Age stuff, which I know he would be interested in. So I'm going to bring this box and see what we can do, maybe get off on some good boxes that he has. He's got a lot of cool Silver Age and Bronze Age stuff. I'm super excited, guys. So let's head on over. I'm going to bring you with me. All right, guys, so we're in the car here. I figured I would talk a little bit about what's going on here while we're on our way. Super fortunate. It's only about 20 minutes from my house at the storage facility that he has and a little bit of a backstory. So for those of you that are active watchers on the YouTube, you probably have seen our antique shop video. I'm glad everybody that watched it seemed to like it. But when we were there, we found a big collection in the back of the shop full of a bunch of Werewolf by Night comic books lots of older stuff some silver age and bronze age stuff really nice stuff but it was a little higher price the guy was asking around ten dollars a comic but if you bought a hundred dollars worth you got 20 percent off so it was a really cool deal fast forward um, about 24 hours and Sarah is actually on Craigslist and finds an ad of an older gentleman I believe he said he was about 69 years old and she found the ad and it's actually the guy that has the supply at the antique shop. So it's the same exact guy, has the same exact comics, and apparently he's just got a bunch of stuff that you know is a little bit too much for him right now, or he's trying to get rid of some older product. I'm not quite sure, but he is an older gentleman. We're gonna go over there. We're gonna be there in about 15 minutes. Hopefully it goes good. He says he's got roughly 10,000 comic books, all silver, bronze, and copper age stuff. He says he doesn't really have anything modern, which is awesome because the last big collection I purchased was mostly all modern stuff. So Hopefully we're able to buy something, but worst case scenario, we'll at least get a cool video out of it. I'm not sure how much I'm going to be able to record because it is a storage unit and he is an older gentleman and sometimes they're not comfortable with recording and stuff like that. So I'll let you guys know how it goes and I'll record whatever I can for you. But all right, guys, I'm on my way right now. Wish me luck. All right, guys, I just pulled up. This guy is no nonsense. I'm following him right now at the auction facility or the storage facility so I'll let you know I'll let you guys know how it goes all right all right guys so I'm out here right now just went inside the storage unit he's got some cool comic books I'm grabbing my box right now and I'm gonna go try to make the deal with him see if we can do a little bit of a trade he's definitely got some stuff I'm interested in but he's asking around five dollars a comic which is way over what I'm used to paying so let's see how we do Lots of cool stuff, guys. There's He's, a box of defenders. Some defenders. I gotta check some of these. Like, there's a number 12. Yeah, uh, some of this stuff's worth more than five bucks a piece. Yeah, the lower number ones. I think this is all See, though, that's a whole box of defenders, right? Ooh, that's a box I'd like right there. And there's a lower. Uh, the Hulk's popular. The whole box, on average, should probably go for 10 bucks. So yeah. The lower ones probably go for more. Just about. Lots of cool stuff Not here, guys. And they're all in pretty nice shape. Yeah, lots of nice bronze. He's got some Conan the Barbarian. Lots of four. Yeah, I got a whole box of Conan. This is an awesome box here, this Defenders box. We're definitely interested in this. Now, do you have these on the... 
listed somewhere? No, these are actually my personal ones that I've kept over the years from collections that I enjoy. So these are expensive comics here, but I figured, you know, you say you got expensive stuff, so I tried to bring you some stuff I thought you'd like. So. Yeah, this is all this kind of stuff I'm looking for. Yeah, exactly. So I figured maybe, you know, we, we don't even got to handle cash. We could just do a trade maybe. Do you or... have these listed? No, I do not. This kind of stuff. Some nice uncanny X-Men. Yeah, and like I said, I don't really have attachment to stuff like that because I'm interested in more of the superhero stuff. Where are you selling? eBay. I do everything on eBay, and then I promote through the YouTube and the Instagram. But they got, they got so much stuff on eBay. Like right now, you know, it's Christmas and people need money. Yep. So there's a lot on eBay right now. I've yeah, been it's picking up a lot of uh, stuff on eBay at like three bucks a piece that I can sell for 10 bucks. Exactly. Yeah, I do a lot of that too, and you know, sometimes you get lucky I mean, and stuff. Yeah, I got a lot of these. Yeah, the GI Combat, yep. Cool stuff, guys. Know. Here's a whole bunch of Thor stuff here. I'll go through quickly, guys. Yeah, this is all good stuff here. Super Thrall. He's got some Tomb of Dracula, too. Some Two Gun Kid. Some nice Marvel premieres. I like the Charles, though they're not a high dollar comic. Uh, it seems like our Army of War does best. I have a lot of Charlton and, and, and uh, a Golden Key. The, uh, Charles Ward. Nice brave and bold. Dude, that's a nice wolf. But I like the Charles. Uh, uh, Some fight mine. I don't know how hard they're hitting those ones yet. Yeah, well, I, I, I actually filmed the video of your comics at the antique shop the other day with my wife, and everybody really seemed to enjoy it. Like I said, that Werewolf by Night box you have over there, I wouldn't mind grabbing too. Some Tomb of Dracula well, stuff. Well, I got a lot of Werewolf and Dracula comics. Tomb of Dracula. Yeah, that's my stuff. Tomb of Dracula, Werewolf by Night, all that Marvel premiere, Marvel Spotlight. I, mean, I sold that. a complete run of Tomb of Dracula. It's probably about three years ago. Oh, man, I, I wish. Think, I think I sold it for like three fifty, something like that, 400 Now I see the going for, I don't remember how it was. Wow, that's good. That's good. What great 32 on Yeah, Werewolf by Night 32. I remember I sold for like 350 400 I bought like 200 and we sold for like 350 400 Yep, they're going now up they're right going now. For like 2000 Yeah, they're really expensive. I have a few copies of his uh, second appearance. All right, guys, so we made the trade. No cash yet. I got a whole short box of stuff and a nice little stack here. Some Tomb of Dracula stuff. We'll go through it all and we get back at the house. I sold it for four grand. Wonder Woman won for four grand. Whew. Yeah, it's probably worth double that right now. Yeah. So this is the second locker right here. Oh, I see the long boxes. Wow. Nice stuff. Yeah, that'd be nice. Nice X-Men box. Always looking for X-Men. Some nice incredible Hulk. Some early Hulk here. Black Hulk. She-Hulk. I picked up a long box of Iron Man. And I just I, I didn't bought realize actually, yeah. that, that war machine. I sold yep. it. The two war machines went for like 150 bucks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some nice Iron Man stuff. Got a lot of Commandy. Yeah, Commandy is one of those titles that's kind of hard to get rid of sometimes. Yeah, These I are. thought they don't. Uh, yeah, I don't see them. Yeah, but uh, one of these days I keep saying I'm going to go through and separate it. Yeah, that's the biggest pain in the butt of it all, it's organizing it. So now I got Bronze Age mixed in with the... It's going to separate it in the... Conan fans are like diehard fans, <laughs> but they're rare. You got Spider-Man, I'm into Spider-Man. Thor. Oh, there you go, yep, Mighty I have Thor. A lot, of, a lot of Thor. Thor is good too. In fact, I had a, a whole long box of it, I think, and then I ended up splitting it up. Yeah, I'm always looking for uh, Daredevil stuff, Fantastic Four, Amazing Spider-Man. All right, we just found all the X-Men here. So starting out with issue 232 here. Okay, this is like a whole box jam-packed of X-Men. I'll bring you guys back. They're nice. Definitely a cool X-Men box. Yeah, some of the uh, 250 to 300s, like these, That's there's some old, keys issues in there. Yeah, that old Jim Lee stuff is has some stuff in it. I'm not sure. I'm thinking they're going for like five bucks a piece. But I don't yeah, know. if you were out at a show, you'd probably get that. 
I would probably put them in the store at, yeah. at six bucks a piece. Yeah, yeah, your antique shop spot is is pretty awesome. You guys and then they get a the discount theory. stuff, and I end up getting four bucks for them or something. Yeah. All right, guys, we're moving fast out here. Comic books. Who says comic books are boring, man? So. I just got a bunch of cool stuff for free, not technically, but I gave him some of my older comic books. He really seemed to enjoy them like I knew he would. So the deal went so good and he's so happy, he invited me over to his house. We are going to his house right now and we are going to look at all the comics. He says he's got some better stuff, but we're on our way to this house right now. He says he's got a lot of better stuff. I didn't pick up the X-Men box he had. Ooh, selling some stuff on eBay. But all right, guys, we're gonna get going. I'm heading over there now. He says it's about a mile away. I'm not gonna record inside his home because that's, you know, his personal space. And uh, I'll let you guys know what happens when I come back in the car, all right? Hope you guys are enjoying the video. Don't forget to leave a like, drop a comment, and let me know, guys, what do you think of the video? All right, guys, so we're pulling in right now. I wanted to turn the camera on really quick because I wanted to say something, and this is a little tip for all you guys out there, but I came here today intentionally to spend money on comic books. What ended up happening was a trade happened, correct? So I have technically not handed him any money and you know, a nice trade went down. He invited me over to his home to go look at his personal collection and see if there's anything I'm interested in. This is what you call putting your foot in the door, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy some comics from him, whether it's a good price, a great price, or a bad price, because I want this guy to call me again when he's ready to sell. This is something you can utilize whenever you're finding somebody that has something that you can't maybe acquire right now but down the road you're gonna want to be in contact with them so this is just a little tip so we're going right now hopefully I'm able to buy something to make his day a little bit happier and then this connection we can have for a long time down the road so this is just a quick little tip I want to throw in there for you guys all right guys so you're not gonna believe what I just found got a pretty great deal handing over 400 bucks right now and I'm gonna show you guys what the stack looks like all right guys we're gonna show you quickly got some really nice stuff here some sensational she hulk picked up some really nice sensational she hulk here and i did grab some keys guys just wait for it boom look at that boom tomb of dracula number one also got a bunch of other cool tomb of dracula stuff some she hulk some ghost rider more Tomb of Dracula, Marvel 2-in-1, I got a whole bunch of cool Marvel 2-in-1, there's some more Tomb of Dracula, lots of awesome stuff guys, beautiful Wonder Woman cover right here, and then we also got a huge stack right here of all kinds of Marvel 2-in-1s, this is a huge stack, super happy. All right, guys, so we're back in the car. I figured I'd give you a little bit of a better look quickly, but picked myself up a Tomb of Dracula one. Nice, and this beautiful, sensational She-Hulk. This is like a $150 comic, $200 comic, if it's nice enough. Also picked up so many awesome title, guys. I'm so excited. Not only do we pick this up for $400, but we also got this box, all Defenders, guys. This is a whole entire run of Defenders. Number 33, this is all the way through, I believe it's not including issue one, but it should be roughly issue 10 all the way to like a hundred and something. And then I got a whole box back here full of all kinds of Tomb of Dracula, some really nice stuff. And this is the, all the stuff I got for free in the trade with that box of stuff that I really didn't care about. Some really nice stuff, guys. I think I got a score and a half today. All right, guys, we're back at the house. I'm over here sitting on the floor, but I figured I would go through quickly everything with you because I know you guys are probably going to have some questions on what we bought. I'm not even entirely sure, <laughs> but I know we got some awesome stuff. I pulled out a couple of the keys here, guys, as I showed you before. This was a super nice hit. Sensational She-Hulk 40, beautiful cover right there. I also managed to pick up, it's a beat up copy, but Hey man, can't go wrong with Tomb of Dracula number one. Sorry if the audio is bad in here, guys. This is another one that's pretty cool too. Tomb of Dracula 17. I believe this is like the third appearance of Blade. 
I also found this, Werewolf by Night 31. This is the cameo appearance of Moon Knight. I believe this is when they talk about Moon Knight. I also found a whole bunch of uh, Tomb of Dracula comics. I kind of got them organized, but I haven't gone through everything yet. Here's some really nice She-Hulk. I found I found the uh, Savage She-Hulk number two, really nice one, and then some nice sensational She-Hulk. I picked up a bunch of copies of this issue uh, 29. There's three of them. I also liked issue three, very nice issue three. Here's some more sensational She-Hulk, the Werewolf by Night. Picked up a bunch of different Werewolf by Night books here. Some beautiful covers on here. The books are not in the best of shape, but they're still pretty nice. Sorry if the video's dragging along, guys. I just figured for anybody that wanted to see, here you go. Here's some Submariner I picked up. And everything you're seeing was bought for 400 bucks and partial trade. So I think I got a great deal. Let me know down below, guys. Here's some nice strange tales. These books are beautiful. There's 185, 188, 187, 183. I got a really nice The Power of Warlock. Some amazing Spider-Man issues, 236. Here's a nice Swamp Thing, number 16. Really cool cover right there. I picked up a Daredevil Black Widow. Here's a couple duplicate um, X-Men, number 189s. I got Incredible Hulk, 203. Picked up the Logan Run, number one. Eternals, number four. This was a cool little grab. 12 Cent Superboy. Captain Marvel, 23. Really nice book right there. And then we picked up, this was a nice grab too. Really beautiful cover right here for Wonder Woman 207. Nice little bondage cover. And then I also picked up a cool little Ghost Rider with Werewolf by Night on it, number 55. Really cool one. And then we'll go over and I'll show you guys just all of the two-in-ones. There's a whole bunch of two-in-ones here that I picked up. All different issues. I think there's uh, Morbius in here. Um, Moon Knight I also picked up. Really cool stuff. So I'm happy. Comment down below guys. Let me know. Do you think I got a good deal? And this box was awesome if you ask me because this is just an entire box of Defenders. Some really awesome stuff right here. So I have to organize everything but I figured I would just show you guys quickly what we purchased. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a comment and a thumbs up and we'll see you in the next one. Alright guys?